Hi, welcome to CCSK Domain 8. We are going to talk about the virtualization and containers in this domain. There are five questions expected in the exam from this domain. Watching this video, you need to put in lesser effort and time to prepare for the CCSK exam. If you are watching my videos for the first time, please subscribe to my channel for the regular video updates. The virtualization is, um, isn't just related to the virtual machines, uh, but more than that, to extract the underlying resources, for example, the virtual runtime environment, uh, storage, and the networking. Um, security of the virtualization technology, uh, for example, securing a hypervisor. Uh, security controls for the virtual assets, um, the virtual firewalls um, that are not the same as the physical firewall and uh, mere abstraction of uh, a physical firewall into the virtual machine still not meet the deployment or the security requirements. Um, the virtualization uh, security in the cloud computing is a shared responsibility um, between the provider and the cloud customer. Um, the uh, cloud provider remains responsible for the physical and virtual um, infrastructure, uh, while the cloud customer uh, still remains responsible for properly implementing the um, available virtualized security controls and understanding the underlying risks. Um, based on um, what is implemented and managed by the cloud provider. For example, um, deciding when to encrypt the data, when not to encrypt the data, um, properly configuring the virtual networks and uh, firewall, and decide when to use um, dedicated hosting versus uh, shared uh, host. There are different um, aspects in the virtualization. Uh, if you talk about the compute virtualization, it abstracts the running of the code, including the operating system from the underlying hardware. Instead of uh, running directly on the hardware, the code runs on top of an abstraction layer uh, that enables more flexible usage, such as running multiple operating systems on the same hardware um, or the virtual machines configure uh, hypervisors to isolate uh, virtual machines from each other. Um, when we talk about the isolation in terms of the cloud provider responsibilities, um, the isolation ensures that the compute process or the memory in one virtual machines or the container should not be visible to the another. The virtualization security, uh, the cloud provider uh, remains responsible for securing the underlying infrastructure and the virtualization technology from the external attackers. This uh, means uh, using patched or um, up-to-date uh, um, hypervisors that are properly configured and uh, supported uh, with the processes to keep them up to date and uh, secure over time. The inability to patch the hypervisor um, across a cloud deployment could create a fundamentally insecure cloud. And um, it is of course a vulnerability in, in the technology which will be discovered uh, in terms of the cloud user responsibility, we have uh, security settings, monitoring, uh, logging, and uh, image set uh, management. Um, so uh, the security settings, um, the cloud user remains responsible to um, for the you know for um, uh, configuring the identity management uh, on their asset, basically to to put on the access control on their assets, um, perform the hardening of the systems, and uh, do proper secure configurations on the system, monitoring and logging. Um, handles the events and logs from the virtual machines of the containers, um, image assets uh, management, managing the images uh, meets security requirements where they can be deployed and who has access to them. It is very important security responsibility because um, uh, no one else should be able to access those uh, containers uh, uh, and uh, put them or, or to, to uh, you know uh, make them malicious. Network virtualization 
primarily VLAN and SDN, uh, virtual local area network and software defined network are um, uh, used in the cloud computing. Most of the cloud computing today uses SDN for virtualizing the network because VLANs are not often um, suitable for uh, cloud deployment since they lack important isolation capabilities for especially for the multi-tenancy in the cloud. SDN uh, abstracts the network management plane from uh, the underlying physical infrastructure and removing many typical networking constraints from, uh, from there. Uh, monitoring and uh, filtering. A virtual network moves packet uh, in the software and monitoring um, cannot rely on sniffing the physical network connections because uh, when two virtual machines are talking um, they unnecessarily will not put on the traffic on the physical uh, network and uh, they will rather utilize the virtual network uh, and if you are sniffing or if you are monitoring the physical network then you cannot re really rely on the packet sniffing or uh, monitoring those packets. Management uh, infrastructure, um, it is uh, for securing the management plane or especially as part of the management plane, the meta structure, which is very critical for, uh, for the management infra. Um, so in this, uh, what all responsibilities are, um, you know, on the cloud provider? Uh, they remain responsible for securing the network infrastructure and secure uh, configurations, segregation and isolation of the network traffic to prevent the tenants, um, keep packet sniffing disabled, monitor and uh, ensure SDN metadata is not exposed outside uh, the management plane. Um, also the virtual network should uh, um, enable built-in firewall capabilities, provide in uh, uh, provider is responsible for um, detecting and preventing the threats on the physical network and parameters. While the uh, the cloud user responsibilities are at the virtual layer, especially um, if we talk about from the network point of view, the virtual firewalls, um, the cloud user can run application stacks in its own virtual network in order to reduce the attack surface. Um, if you talk about the immutable network, uh, usually in cloud um, they have the configuration templates and um, which may be defined based on the baseline security requirements and uh, these um, security configuration templates can be applied on the different uh, virtual firewalls or, or the different resources. Cloud overlay network um, are a special kind of WAN uh, virtualization technology for um, created network uh, that spans multiple base networks. For example, an overlay network could span physical and uh, cloud locations um, or the multiple cloud networks perhaps um, even on the different providers. Storage virtualization, SAN and uh, NAS. Uh, SAN uses its own uh, protocol to do its job primarily fiber channel, fiber uh, channel over Ethernet, FCOE, etc. Um, um, iSCSI. Uh, most virtualized storage is durable and um, keeps the multiple copies of the data in different locations um, so that the drive uh, failures are less likely to result in data loss. Um, also encrypting those drives reduce the concern that uh, swiping out a device drive uh, which is very frequent activity um, could result in data exposure. Uh, very important points here to note that um, encrypting any underlying physical storage um, if it is not already encrypted at the another level um, to prevent um, data exposure during the drive replacement. So always encrypt that. Um, isolate encryption from the data management functions. So uh, any encryption like crypto operations or the keys uh, should be isolated from the data uh, management functions or the data because that will prevent unapproved access to the customer um, customer uh, data. It is very important point to uh, be taken care of. Uh, containers, um, it is virtual execution environment that uh, features a, a, an isolated user space and a shared kernel, a highly portable code execution environment. 
basically the containers are um, making use of the existing uh, kernel uh, they do not have anything uh, uh, any other resource uh, no uh, separate OS no separate kernel they are using the shared kernel they are using the same OS uh, it is just the um, unique virtual execution environment that make use of uh, that to isolate uh, the user space so that nobody can uh, see each other's uh, data or um, the execution environment. Orchestration uh, controller, um, it is um, basically uh, for the orchestration and uh, scheduling the controllers which can be um, a collection of multiple tools. Um, we have several uh, orchestration tools uh, like Kubernetes. Uh, uh, what happens is when we have different uh, uh, containers and based on the demand in the cloud uh, when we have to automate uh, things we have to push uh, the different services to the to the cloud uh, to make those services available for the customers then the orchestration comes into the picture so there are different tools available to um, to implement that repository of the container image um, this is the, the repository where all the images should be uh, stored and uh, should be protected and uh, access should always be controlled container security um, so this includes the understanding um, uh, basically the isolation capabilities um, this is of the both uh, the chosen container platform and the underlying uh, operating system uh, then choose the appropriate configuration use physical or virtual machine to provide the container isolation and the group containers of the same security context um, ensure that only approved known um, and uh, um, uh, you know secure container image or the code can be deployed um, appropriate um, security um, appropriate uh, appropriately secure the containers orchestration management and uh, um, and the scheduler uh, software stack implement uh, appropriate the role based access control uh, and a strong authentication for, for all the uh, repository or the containers uh, images um, as I mentioned no, not everybody should be able to access those container images and those should be access controls so these are very important uh, security aspects for the containers few questions uh, to try here um, compute uh, virtualization abstract uh, the running of the code not including the OS from the underlying hardware so in in the compute virtualization uh, abstract model uh, what it says um, as in the beginning of this uh, video we mentioned that it abstracts the running of the code including the operating system from the underlying uh, hardware so it is a true um, uh, basically um, true statement uh, when we say uh, running code and uh, including the OS so in this question this becomes the false uh, because compute virtualization uh, abstracts the running of code uh, including the OS from the underlying hardware um, So this remains false. What is the main reason uh, software defined networking SDN may be preferable to the VLANs in the cloud? Uh, VLANs are more expensive. Uh, VLANs may not be may not provide sufficient isolation. Uh, VLANs are not approved by the regulators. VLANs are not as fast as SDN. So, as we discussed uh, during the video, that VLANs are um, VLANs um, are not suitable for the cloud because they, in the multi tenancy they do not provide the sufficient isolation um, uh, to support the multi tenancy. So that is the uh, answer here. Next question is um, is related to the top security priorities for the cloud providers. Which of the following could be considered the top uh, security 
priority for the cloud providers. Um, so what? Uh, so let's take a look uh, on these on these uh, options. Protecting their own IP, um, providing maximum bandwidth, designing application um, APIs uh, that optimize the customers' uh, business goals, segregating and isolating the customers' traffic. So it becomes uh, important when it comes to the multi-tenant environment, um, and uh, it is it is um, essential that uh, to ensure that customers cannot see each other's traffic in absolutely uh, becomes the essential requirement. So here uh, the segregating and isolating customer traffic uh, is the answer. Um, next is what method is commonly used to ensure that uh, swapping out a storage drive won't uh, inadvertently reveal the data. Um, so as we discussed, uh, the encryption help us uh, with that. Um, this is the uh, this is the purpose of. Uh, um, of encrypting the data um, and th which helps um, uh, to protect the data during the swiping out um, a storage drive. With this, uh, we close the session for uh, domain 8. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you like the video and um, this will help you to prepare for the exam. Please subscribe, like, comment and uh, share it uh, in your network so that others can take the benefit. Thank you.